Sarah by LeBron Keener Sarah walked down the dirt road which led through the woods to her grandparents' house. They lived in a clearing about a mile away and it wasn't anything uncommon for the little girl to walk over there. She lived with her mother and father on the other side of the woods and many a time she would walk between the two homesteads without a care in the world. The road hardly ever saw a stranger since all that lived down in that lonely mountain pass were family members and there weren't too many of them. So Sarah walked alone just as she always had. The woods along that road were dark and usually held fog low to the ground like a thin blanket astir in the cool breeze. The mountains were steep on both sides of the road and didn't allow much sunlight to penetrate through the canopy of treetops. Mountain laurel, fern, and ivy vines covered the steep hillsides beneath the trees bordering the old dirt road with lush greenery. Besides the birds and the whistling of the breeze through the treetops, the only sound Sarah heard was her own footsteps upon the dirt road. The farther down the road she walked, the woods eventually surrounded her, and the clearing where she lived with her mother and father disappeared. Then suddenly, she stopped walking. Sarah was halfway into the woods and noticed something unusual. The wind had stopped whistling through the treetops and the birds were all quiet. She stood there in the middle of the road uneasy like. The quietness made her shiver with a sense of coldness she had never felt before upon the old dirt road. It remained quiet until finally she heard the faint sound of horses walking. Looking down the road toward the direction of her grandparents' house, she saw it coming toward her, pulling a big black oblong wooden wagon behind it. It had a big oval window in the side of it framed with black curtains. Within the wagon's window, she saw a wooden coffin. Slowly it continued. The horses never made a sound other than their hooves beating on the old dirt road. Sarah watched as it went on past her. After a few minutes, the horses and wagon disappeared on the horizon of the road in the woods. Finally, Sarah heard the birds again and the cool breeze she heard within the treetops. Relieved, she started walking again headed to her grandparents' house, skipping, as little girls often do. In just a short time, she saw the clearing ahead and took off in her run. As she always did when she got to her grandparents' house, she ran up the front steps and knocked on the big wooden door. There was no answer. She knocked again and then tried the door knock. It was unlocked. She opened the door. She walked inside. There in the front room, she saw her grandmother and grandfather sitting on the sofa in a daze. Granny! Grandpa! She shouted. They paid her no attention, but remained sitting closely together. Her grandmother clutched Sarah's picture to her bosom. It was placed behind an oval glass within a black wooden frame.